Okay, the number one place I wanted to visit on my trip to San Francisco is Fisherman's Wharf and I'm finally going. It's a Sunday and I figured that's the best day to go. The breeze is gonna be out, the weather is really nice, so let's do it. Here's my outfit of the day. Very Fisherman Wharf. Snaps off like that. And then also zip it down. It kind of looks kind of seafaring <laughs> when you have it like that. Nothing too fancy, just a casual outfit since I'm going to be strolling down the beach essentially. So Fisherman Wharf's outfit is kind of seafaring, navy blue obviously, red peaking to match the shoes. These shoes are probably my favorite. Just got them early for my birthday. My little sister gave them to me, exactly what I wanted. Thanks sis. And yeah, basically... I'm excited to just stroll around. Kind of just want to be chill, relaxed, but also like a little bit fashionably conscious. So let's go. Not me trying to take an outfit of the day selfie and then Kitty taking the spotlight. Kitty right there. Kitty taking the spotlight. Dear God, ignore the messy desk. But look at Kitty. Oh my gosh. I love her Kitty. How can you ignore this? I literally have a bus to catch, but I don't care. I'll take the next one. Oh my god, I love you. Oh my god, the petting, dude, listen. The petting. Oh, smart for the camera, mozzarella. I love you. I love you. This is why I don't own cats. They're too cute. I just want to play with them all the time when you need to leave. I need to leave. It's the afternoon. Let's go to Fisherman Wharf. <laughs> Yeah, I ditched the sweater. It's too hot. So now I'm just in this. The weather that day was perfect with just the right amount of breeze. There literally wasn't a cloud in the sky and the air felt pure. It was my first time taking a peek at the downtown area and my first ever time inside the famous trolleys. It was really cool to travel through there. What was really cute is there was this one kid who kept talking to the conductor about all of the different historical models of trolleys, as well as the intricate schedule of the day with each trolley. And I was like, wow, this kid is like kind of living a movie life right now. Just hops on and off trolleys and knows this trolley guy by his first name. They're just like chatting. I was like, wow, what an adventurous life for a kid. Traveling through trolley was very scenic and very enjoyable. Definitely recommend you do that when you're there. And here we are at Fisherman's Wharf, Pier 39. Pier 39 is probably the most touristy or popular area. There are, of course, a lot of other piers down that street. Here's a cute little crab sculpture. But... This is the most famous one. You can ride ships around and there's a lot of cafes and restaurants that you can check out. It's a really great place, I think, for an afternoon, any time of the day. The air just hits different there and surprisingly, having all those people there was more enjoyable. But what's most interesting is the Alcatraz is like right smack there. Yeah! Holy shit, that's Alcatraz. Holy shit, that's Alcatraz. Holy shit! Dude, what the fuck? I wasn't expecting that. What the fuck? I mean, I knew it was nearby, but I didn't think it would be so close. So that ended up being my reaction. Finally, it was time to enter the magical doorway. Here's a crepe shop that I made a mental note to check out. And then you get a glimpse at all the beautiful shops that are in the area. We meet again. <laughs> With the string lights and the way that everything's decorated, I'm pretty sure that this place is fun to check out at night as well. The experience of just walking around for the first time in an area like this is honestly just very magical. There's surprising cool photo ops and places that you can check it out. You could easily spend a whole day here. And guess what? Whoa! They have a fairy go round. Yeah. yeah, take a look at me and the fairy go round. I didn't know they'd have carnival things here, but they do, and it's cool to check them out. But geez, that line is a killer. 
But look at her go, lit up and everything. Super majestic. What's more, they have churros and cotton candy. Oh, delicious. And right by there is a giant toy claw machine. I am that kid. Give me the stuffed animal. Oh, not today. And there's even sideshow entertainment. Now I'm not trying to be anything here. Just thinking that is the least intimidating tightrope I've ever seen. <laughs> You're only like a foot off the ground. But hey, you do. It was so pretty cool and impressive. Great job. The crowd's also impressed, so hey, it's a win-win for all. I loved everything about the vintage shops. This gentleman especially. <laughs> and here we've reached the end. Ah, the wind, the flags, the vibe. Nice fog or mist that is just gently touching the valleys on the other side. The ships are sailing, families are taking pictures. Relaxing. Well, enough of that. I was hungry. It's time to eat. Here we have Shouters, a delectable little... I don't even know what you would call this place. Cafe? Seaside? Something something? Thank you. By the way, it was popular and that sandwich looked good. I chose a choice place to eat it. The sun was chef's kiss just right and then I numbed. Oh, oh, I numbed like no one was there. There were actually a lot of people there. So film yourself eating is freaking awkward. But that first bite, mmm, delicious. It was a shrimp and lobster sandwich. And that bread was just thin, crispy, and soft enough to not overpower the delicate, <laughs> moist, delicious flavor of the stuffing. I am seriously salivating. But beyond that, I wanted some dessert. And yes, that great place that we saw before, I did well on my promise of rounding about and checking that place out and watched the artisans do their work. God's work, if I may say, I saw myself. Just look at the toppings, the technique, the sheer... Man, looking at this film is just torture. I want to eat all of this again. <laughs> and here we have it in all its glory while I look out into the beginnings of the sunset. Sun is glaring at this point. Apologies for the poor lighting, but the experience was great and the taste was amazing. So I do recommend going out on the weekend and doing this. If you live in a town where you get this beautiful luxury of relaxation, just staring out into the sunset over the sea while eating a crepe. I mean, come on, Ooh, come on. Stress out the window. And there we have it. Fisherman's Wharf, Pier 39. That's a sculpture of a sea lion. It's pretty cute. They also have the flags adorning the entrance of Fisherman's Wharf. All in all, a very, very enjoyable experience that I recommend to all. I took the metro back and the sunset was very vivid with its colors and the tiny lights in the houses added a cute touch. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's more San Francisco videos to come. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification and I'll see you in the next one.